at a sale price. This is the five-piece Cleomi collection. Uh, these are known as spider flowers. These are part of the Sparkler yes. series. They look like little fireworks. Um, you are getting a fabulous um, pollinator garden flower here, everybody. Uh, hummingbirds love these. Butterflies, bumblebees, all the little critters that you love to have in your garden will go a little bit crazy when they see that you have Cleomis growing. Um, and Philip, I love what you told me on the phone. You said you love a garden with movement. And yes. these flowers dance and sway in the garden. They're always moving. And so they are something that you always try to incorporate into your designs. Yes, I, I do. And what I like about it too is that because they're tall, is that you can get other things planted at the base of them. Mm -hmm. And they do move around. Yeah. And you'll get an array of colors as I'm showing you here, of uh, the nice white ones and all the different shades of rose, lilac, and purple, mm -hmm. um, these are what I call a self-seeding annual because that once the blooms finish, they'll start setting seeds and they drop the seeds and new blooms keep coming. And so you'll have these in your garden. It's what we call a pass along plant down in Mississippi because we share them. You can share the seeds with someone. See those little cigar shaped green things? Uh -huh. Those are the seed pod. Ah. And once they turn brown, the seeds will start to drop off but great in containers, great in the back of the border. Um, you can plant them in uh, large containers with things that, that uh, hang down. Uh, so I mix these in all over my garden because they're unexpected surprises with their airiness. And the hummingbirds like them a lot. Oh, I love it. I love the, the just uh, picture them moving and swaying. And you were telling me they, if you have ornamental grasses, these are perfect to plant with the grasses, yes. which uh, most of which do not get uh, any kind of flowers on them. And so this gives you that pop of color as well. And again, if, uh, yeah. if you're doing some of the traditional things for a pollinator garden, like a butterfly, a budlia uh, shrub, uh, maybe you're doing some of the, um, of the, uh, milkweed for your monarchs and you're doing um, you know some of the other uh, traditional pollinator plants um lantana and things like that these are yes, going to give precisely. you some height uh, a lot of yes. the pollinator uh, flowers don't get particularly tall and i just think this is going to give you that height to kind of balance out the the butterfly bushes and again the butterflies and bumblebees absolutely love them they do and also the deer do not like them because they're, they they're not... fuzzy they're, they're fuzzy and also they're a little bit resinous. And so the deer, deer will not get on these. They're also drought tolerant. So these come back. I've got them sprinkled around in my garden in the back. And I love it when they start coming up because I'm thinking, you know, I didn't have to plant anything there this year. These have done this. And you can always augment it. Like here, we've got blue salvias planted in front of it. And you've got some ornamental grasses in the background, too. Mm -hmm. So you can mix it all up. There's some, uh, I think, yellow gara or I can't even coreopsis or something in the background there. But it goes with everything. So I always have these. And if yours uh, start to get a little bit tired in August, when I'm tired by August too, <laughs> I will cut. I will cut mine back some then and get another big flush out of them. They're going to keep blooming, but they'll bloom better if you cut them back a little bit in August which I do. And oh. in containers with petunias, wow. see, there's different ones. Imagine that, that you've got um, our okay, speckled go petunias. All right, with these. keep, I'm keep you. talking. I'm going to go get yes, these other it, things from the show. All right. But if you've this. got a smaller garden or even a large garden, um, consider your containers. And I have large containers in my garden because they keep me from having to water a whole lot. The bigger the container, the less you're going to have to water it. And the bigger the ump. Um, I just had the Cleomis every year. I grew up with the Cleomis, but this particular, uh, the Sparkler series is denser and blooms better than the ones that I grew up with. Oh, there's Charlie sneaking into the picture. I love that doggy. <laughs> okay. All right, Philip. so here's what I- What you got? I, I just put the petunias- Hey, Charlie. Honey, only for you would I move that giant double, triple pot of petunias with a rotator cuff injury, just saying. I'm going to take some extra oh. ibuprofen just for you. All right, so Woman. so <laughs> you can't stop me from carrying heavy stuff around. I'm All not right, going to so, stop you from doing anything. So you guys look, so um, this is just kind of pretend this is like your garden. 
when it's full bloom, now it's like July, you've got everything growing in. Look at your petunias with these, if, for, if, if these were in a pot. Um, and the Creeping Jenny as well looks fabulous. You could do a pot with both of these and this tall one in the background. But in your oh, pollinator yes. garden, pretend like these petunias are like your lantanas or something that's gonna, again, spread out and give you lots of flowers that the butterflies and bees love. This can be your border, as Philip said around the, the edge of it, along the driveway where it doesn't care if it gets hot next to the asphalt because it's that durable creeping Jenny. Uh, this yes. is just really going to give you a, a whole total look. This whole show, you could put those cannas in there. I mean, this well, whole show what looks I, great I, together. Put the shows together so that you can, everything will look nice together um, because you know, that's what I do, make it easier for you. I am a designer. I know these things work. I'm not going to put put something out there that's not going to work. Uh, it's important a as a horticulturist for me. I'm a designer, but if things don't work on the scientific end of it, you're not going to get the beauty. you got to have the science and the beauty, and this is the perfect intersection. The best plants and the best intentions, and then there you go with it. Just beautiful things in the garden and something like the old-fashioned petunias, but a new variety, the Sparkler series, Nothing but lots and lots of color and hummingbirds and easy care. And You'll just, enjoy these flowers. And just so you're clear, everybody, uh, you're getting a blue one, a lavender one, a purple one, a rose one, and a white one. You're getting all five colors. So your garden will look just like that picture. You're getting all of those colors. You don't have to choose. So stay in the ordering process. Um, this is also a fabulous photographing plant. Uh, if you love to take pictures of your garden, you will love these in the pictures too. Three payments of $8.66. That's a sale price, saving you about $5 on each set. And don't forget about our Philip Watson Designs Time Release Fertilizer, already very popular in the show. You add it once at the beginning of the season, and you don't have to remember to fertilize anymore after that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm very excited about this next plant, which I ordered already. Uh, you guys, this is a Rose of Sharon. The uh, screen is going to say hibiscus because this is 